right, is this time now? It is time to take up the last of the sweet potatoes. So, what are you doing and why? I'm cutting away all the tops because you've discovered frost over here. And once you start getting frost damage, you have to go ahead and cut away all the tops. You can pull them up or not, but I'm going to cut it all off and then I'll decide if I'm going to pull them all up or not. So this green thing was a part of an awning that we had up there when the um, the sugar snap peas were there. So the sugar snap peas were growing up there, but now her, her sweet potatoes have all started climbing up there. So she's just getting rid of all of these the plant tops because there's so much, we're getting a lot of frosty weather now and it kills them off anyway, so. And then when she's done doing this, she's gonna dig down in the dirt and see what else is left. She pulled up more than, I believe more than 75% of the sweet potatoes that was planted in this box. So now it's time to just take up the rest of them so that we're not leaving any any fruits, vegetables, anything edible out here to be damaged by the cold weather. What were you planning on doing with the sweet potatoes? Why did you let them last this long? Um, they were kind of small. Here's some small examples. They were bigger than this, but the longer you leave them in, the bigger they get. Those can still be used, but you really prefer something that you can take your teeth into. Oh, I'm pulling them out the ground. Nice. Nice. Those nice big ones, too. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. So two of them just came right up out the dirt. And that's the thing about having great dirt too. It's not hard to dig stuff up. Oh, I'm like, uh, something did get in here and start eating. I knew it. So what were you planning on doing with these sweet potatoes? Sweet potato pie for Thanksgiving. Candy yams, baked potatoes, bubblegum shrimp potatoes. <laughs> oh, they got my harvest. Mm -hmm. wow. That was a big one, too. So earlier she discovered this. Right alongside the box. Wow. She was wondering if something got inside this box and started eating away at stuff. There's some more. There's some more. And we got evidence that something did get in and eat. We still have quite a few nice potatoes, though. I saw somebody on um, YouTube in, in uh, Texas said that they have gophers, that it's not necessarily mice. I do believe it's mice, but but they said that they had gophers. Damaged. There's a big one floating on the ground. Ants also like to get in here because of the sweetness. Mm -hmm. And they're sticky and tacky because of the sap. They are really sweet. The longer you leave them in, the sweeter they are and the more flavor they have because they're much sweet. And when you've been down towards the box, the box smells sweet. When I was out here pulling earlier, I can smell them. All these little tiny ones, if we would have left them in longer, they would have grown to be bigger sweet potatoes. This, 
these knots along the plant, all of these knots will put how, is a potential sweet too. potato. All of these, all them skinny ones, those long ones, they grow yes. this deep to become sweet potatoes. Another one I got ate up. Yeah, that was a long, weird nice looking sweet one. Right here. That's a weird long one. <clears throat> Too bad once you pull them up, you can't replant them and let them keep going. Uh oh, there's one at the end of that. So, this is growing next door. We got a neighbor next door that we were telling them. Um, what'd you tell them? Whatever he sees over there, he can pull it up. Because just a part of the foliage, it won't hurt the plant that's over here. But he said he wasn't going to bother it, so he may actually have some sweet potatoes underground over there. Did you tell them that he could dig and see? I didn't yet. <clears throat> There's some more that's been ate up. Look at all of Man, that. Man, they got wow. it good too. Just under there eating having a feast look at that that's the other thing about having good dirt it's easy for something to dig look down at in there that. wow underground doing a business so while we harvesting they're harvesting yep gizmo why you ain't scaring off all the stuff that's under there wow. nothing they ate really good that was what Four or five of them on that one little cluster that got eight. One, two, three, four, about five. Um, were these easy to grow in your opinion? Yeah, absolutely. Not a lot of work. Um, the only part that was kind of time consuming was waiting. Um, you take a potato, and everybody knows how they start to grow if you leave them in the refrigerator a while anyway. Uh -huh. Well, you cut those off about an inch from the potato because that can get um, diseased. So you cut about an inch off, put them in water, and let them root for about a week or two. Uh -huh. And once they start to root, you can plant them. I only planted about five in this bed, uh -huh. and we have harvested probably about one, two, three, four, probably about five to seven small bushel baskets already. How? What would you say as far, like weight-wise, like how many pounds do you think we pulled up so far? Ooh, I couldn't begin to tell you that. Each bushel basket probably weighed maybe 15 pounds, maybe 20. Uh, and if so, so. Hmm. here's another one. That'd be some good compost. Mm-hmm. If I compost in my own stuff. Store ready. Mm -hmm. Did you bring more than one basket? Mm -hmm. Gizmo, you about to get it. Get out of there. Out. <clears throat> Don't let that the back of that box pop off. Before. I thought some of that would have rooted on the side on the ground, but it doesn't look like. Oh. So now, let's see what we have left. Look how wide the box got down there uh, from these things settling. Uh -huh. Whoa, that ooh, ooh, is ooh. huge. And it's growing all kind of crazy ways. Yeah. Stayed in here too long. That's crazy. You can still make something out of that. Cut off the bad mm -hmm. part, the part that popped open. The largest one I've seen so far. Uh, another one I got ate up. Another one bites the dust. 
There's a uh, trial behind me. Mm -hmm. If you need it. Um, I don't really like to use a trial because it damages the sweet potato and the skin. Mm. How big was this box here that you used? I think it was 14 by mm -hmm. a foot and a half, maybe two. So 14 by maybe two feet and five plants. Uh, no, Giz. No. Don't eat that. That's not for you. Well, they have really, no. really eaten well. I'm a little nervous. No. I hope they don't have a nest up under here. Wow. That end got devoured. Look at that. That end got devoured. No gizmo. I'll be using the trial now. <laughs> I'm about to. Look at that. They got, they devoured these, this end of it. I'll put these out here so we can get them out of here. We won't leave them no more food. In that other basket there. Is all a shovel or something on here? Uh, I'm way down there where Hen at. All of that was just plant top. <laughs> Marcus said, Mama! <laughs> hey, Marcus. She is out here pulling up the last of her sweet potatoes. This is what she got so far. This is what got eaten up and some of them that didn't finish because they were so tiny. And this is also what they ate. They ate good. Uh, she I still her. feel more potatoes. Oh. Just gonna, you know, Maybe the child would be better. Then you could just I move just the dirt. Yeah, dirt around the stuff, so I make sure I ain't done cleaning More the nuts. eaten. Yep. Yep. I hope this one is not because it looks pretty damaged. Is it? Nope. Wow. Look at him. No. <laughs> he walked off like forget y'all again. Uh uh, Marcus said E E mama with the Uggs. <laughs> hey there, it's garden wear. You want to be protected. They have really had their meals, healthy meals too. Tunnels? How? I mean, I don't really see. Unless it just settled after they finished eating. I don't see no way in, no ins and out. No more potatoes. I'm just gonna be by a mosquito. So it looked like this end was the end that they attacked. Yeah. They well, I probably had gotten to those down there already and dug them up. So this end was what was really left. All these little stringy pieces down here have the potential to become more sweet potatoes.
Huh. I wonder what would happen if you just if you leave those small ones in there. They might root because the whole plant is a root, basically. Yeah. I mean, if it'll do well next year. I doubt it because of the frost. Well, it'll be underground, so it'll be protected from that side. Hannah, out let's go. Come on. Out. You too, Gizmo. I would say just leave them down there just in case we'll find out. I'm not leaving because I'm not going to get There's another potato. It's in the lining. Nice size one. See, they will root. Marcus said, what y'all pulling up for the winter? What we pulling up? We pulling up sweet potatoes. She planned on making these, um, making sweet potato pies and stuff with these sweet potatoes, Marcus. Candy yams. Oh, these ain't. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Candy yams. Sweet potato pies. One reason it's not good to use a shovel because you can cut some of your potatoes in two. That's all I was saying, just use the trowel. You can just move the dirt with that. Just this take more a time. Lot more yeah. than the dirt. <laughs> we have enough harvest not to worry about missing any, but I'm pretty careful. I'm kind of feeling my way around. And I'm using the back of the shovel. <clears throat> Kind of slicing through the dirt, but using the back of the shovel to feel. Hmm. So, so far, this is what we have so far. That's what we have left over. I meant harvesting for the winter. We still got eggplant left, these sweet potatoes. Woo! Still got, uh, that was scary. Still got um watermelon. I guess I could have killed him. Trying to come through. Oh and um green tomatoes still coming up. I did some spinach, but I did it late because it seemed to like the cooler weather for, uh mm -hmm. better than the hot weather out here in Texas. So I don't know how well the spinach is gonna do now that it's um now that we haven't frost. But we'll see. It's some turnip greens still over there. Some okra here and there. And butternut squash. So. Oh, and I have two pumpkins, but they tiny. So I'm not sure if they're going to do anything or not. But as far as food and fruit, that's it. And that's all for last minute harvesting Ooh, that was a nice size nice 
I thought that was small. I thought it was, you know, it was that big. I didn't think it was that long. That's part of the fun is digging up buried treasures. <laughs> you never know what you're gonna find. <laughs> Tell my mom I said I right, she gonna unbury your head. <laughs> well, since how we feel these boxes, we kind of know what's in here. <laughs> well, I unbury your head, it better be dead, else it's gonna get dead. But eating up my sweet potatoes. I think you meant a human head. I do too. Oh. <laughs> China. These you can actually use them for planting next year. Just put them in there and let them start to grow the eyes. And then cut off the, they call them slips. Mm -hmm. And you have your new plant for next year. And you already know the history of it because you planted it yourself. So she's just making yeah, sure nice. on this side of the box because she pretty much dug everything from the middle on down here. But like that, she's still pulling up more. Marcus said, I'm waiting to see a skull. Boy. <laughs> more. Ooh, mosquitoes getting me. I thought it got cold. And mosquitoes is gone. I keep going all the way to this end. Because a lot of them, are, a couple have been embedded in the side where the lining is. Get your exercise on top of it. <laughs> Good workout. Gardening is not for punks. Uh -uh. A lot of work. And all of this dirt can be used next year. <laughs> we gotta get us some Yukon gold potatoes and red potatoes out here. You don't give us enough time to see it. By the time you flip it over, you you gone. By the time I get to look at it, good. <laughs> Working out. As soon as I see a skull, I'm cutting it clean off. <laughs> Mark, is you silly? Our next door neighbor dog want to be on the live. <clears throat> Now. That's some good fresh dirt. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna uh, let me come on this side. I think I'm gonna cover it up for the winter. Cover these boxes up. Grandma, hey, my kind of this man, man. Oh, hey, man, man. <laughs> hey, man, man. You should be out here helping me dig potatoes. Yeah, when are you going to come visit? Has he been out here yet? Yeah. No. You need to tell Marcus to bring you out here. <laughs> I can't cover it back up. 
little tiny one. But I can still see that there must have been some potatoes left on this end because I'm still discovering chewed up bits and pieces. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Yeah. <coughs> that would be a nice size one. Oh yeah, they all uh they did come out here for Thanksgiving Mom. Oh yeah. I was hoping to find some on this back wall. Back here. We got this thing pretty good. When I harvested it the first time. Oh. <laughs> On the outside. Mm -hmm. She's too good for the small ones. <laughs> <laughs> I got enough big ones. Them can be what they say fodder. <laughs> Marks, I'm not about to play games today. <laughs> no, I haven't discovered a hit yet. The heat. <laughs> it was actually a. Uh, it was a what? Boy, you better hush. <laughs> this is a friendly channel. I think that is about it on the sweet potatoes. I'm gonna go show these two pieces, of, these two watermelon I just found in there. Uh, there might be something under here. A sweet potato? It feels like it could be. It might just be hard impacted ground. Oh, look at this spider. Where did it go? Not dirt. Oh. <laughs> it feels suspicious. Yeah, it's, on, it's on the outside. Yeah. All right, go. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> She's terrible. I keep trying to get. Oh, sorry. I keep trying to get good shots of it. And she's <laughs> <laughs> he'll be on my leg. Next, you'll be running screaming, talking about he on you, he on you, <laughs> and won't even be here to get it off. And I keep trying to get a good shot of it. And she just <laughs> first she slapped it off the side, and then she just <laughs> smashed it. We we'll have spider lovers on here I talking think we're about it. Okay, that's all for the sweet potatoes, but. I do want to show. Oh, let me show this. Uh, oh, that. So that's the sweet potato. That's the last of it. Maybe 25 percent of the box. And the fallen soldiers here. This guy hit eating up. Uh, uh Marcus, you whack. You better cut it out. I'm not repeating that. <clears throat> I found another watermelon this morning. Still trying to grow. Like the other one, I don't know if it's gonna last because it's getting colder out here, but I found that one. Uh-oh, sorry, Gizmo. Oh, that's the butternut squash I showed yesterday. Gizmo, would you move? And here go a tiny watermelon. Let me see if I can get over here without washing anything. A tiny watermelon that I didn't notice. That it's starting to get um, 
uh, um, the frost. It's starting to get frosted. But I found a bigger one over here. Not too big, but you know. I got another one. Just keep popping up everywhere. So, mm -mm. Um, Auntie April, do not egg him on. You know that boy is silly. And then another butternut squash. And more butternut squash trying to grow these tiny ones. This one is one that hasn't even been pollinated yet. This little cucamelon vine. I, I said I wasn't going to, huh? Okay. I said I wasn't going to do this next year, but I might because now that they are trying to grow, coming out here, popping them off and eating them is good. I like it. And they real crunchy. They taste like they taste like cucumbers with a hint of lemon at the end. And they, they're real fun to eat. So, people put them in their salads and stuff. But listen to the crunch. Hold on, let me see if I can let y'all hear the crunch. Sorry for people who don't like smacking. But, they real crunchy. And when you finish eating them... Like once you almost done eating, it has a um like a lemon taste that bursts when when you burst the skin open. <clears throat> they they can get a little bit bigger than that, but you kind of pick them whenever you're ready and listen to the crunch again. Okay, I'm not gonna do it anymore because I know people don't like to hear people smack, <laughs> but. Y'all get the picture. They good. And I still got... I dropped that one down there. Because it can go back to seed. I still got baby um, eggplant growing all over this thing. All over. <clears throat> my The wind blew my okra plant over. But it got a nice sturdy trunk on it. So I think I'm going to... Stand it back up and tie it off to the gate and see if it'll come back next year. And more, more eggplant on this one. Um, I took off the big ones earlier, but. Really? How big? Mm -hmm. Just keep finding little baby watermelons everywhere. But um, all these eggplants. The flower of the eggplant. I don't see any flowers. But they start off looking like this. And then the flower. Here it is. The flower turns into this. Let me see if I can get a good shot of it without breaking it off. The flower turns into that. And then when it's done flowering, it turns back into this and starts growing out like this. So you just seen all stages of the eggplant. <clears throat> Alright, this video was kind of long, so I'm about to let it go. But I still got green beans and one little bit bitty celery stalk trying to do something. More more okra coming up. It's starting to slow down now that we're getting frost. It's starting to get crunchy all over. And the peach tree didn't do anything this year, but usually the second year around when you have fruit trees, sometimes three or four years down the line, but we had one, we had a couple peaches on here and um, they got stolen. Stolen by the alley bandits. But I still have life in here, so that's promising for next year. The last little onion, green onion, and it smells strong. I use that in the omelet. The last little beet that we let go for a long time, so it's not gonna be edible. But the tops are supposed to be edible. This bed is almost done. Still got a butternut squash trying to hang on, and some buttercup lettuce trying to hang on.
And that's it. This is about to get cleaned off with the exception of the tomatoes because they still popping up everywhere now. So we're gonna let the tomatoes do what they can. And they probably won't make it to <laughs> red tomatoes because I didn't been to a restaurant that did green tomatoes. I didn't figure out how to do the little dipping sauce and now I've been wanting to do fried green tomatoes all the time. So we're gonna have some fried green tomatoes later on. Oh, here go another little baby watermelon. That's how they start out that small. All right, y'all. Peace out. Right, say bye. Bye. Bye, Gizmo. Hannah. Hannah in the front being the queen and Gizmo right here.